What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Gump Nation with your boy Kangaroo Black. And here at Gump Nation, there's always something to talk about when it comes to my Alabama Crimson Tide. And today we're going to talk about Jalen Miro and his commitment to the University of Alabama, staying loyal to the Alabama Crimson Tide football program. Talk about his wanting to get better, wanting to be the best quarterback in the country. And he's saying that Kalen DeBoer is pointing him in that direction. Okay, but let's talk about him staying committed because yesterday he came out and said that other coaches from other programs was contacting him trying to get him to transfer during the chaos of Nick Saban retiring until they hired uh, Kalen DeBoer, and even after they hired Kalen DeBoer. Daggone Jalen Miro, he did not go off emotions when uh, Nick Saban retired during the chaos of the, of the 48 hours that Alabama was on a coaching search. And even after they hired Coach Kalen DeBoer, Jalen Miro came out and said he made a commitment to his parents to get his degree from the University of Alabama no matter what. And he stayed true to that uh, commitment. He's staying true to his commitment to the university. And I'm glad of that. And I'm glad that he didn't fall into the emotion that some other players did after Coach Saban retired. Those players, some of them, they transferred. We ain't going to mention no names, but I'll tell you what. If you face my Alabama Crimson Tide on the Coach Kalen DeBoer, I believe you're going to come out on the losing end and, you, and you're going to wish that you stayed with my Alabama Crimson Tide. So, anyway, I'm proud of uh, Jalen Miro for staying at the University of Alabama and these other teams that contact him. I can guarantee you about three or four from the SEC probably contacted Jalen Miro. You got these fans of other fan bases within the SEC, you know, saying Jalen Miro can't do this and can't do that, calling him Mill, doing all of this. But I guarantee you, you would love to have him on your team. I mean, if he did decide to transfer to your team, he'll probably be the best thing since sliced bread. But simply because... He's playing for the University of Alabama, and he's staying committed to the University of Alabama, staying loyal. Y- y'all ain't got nothing but negative things to say about the young man. But, hey, it is what it is. He just want to be the best he can be, and he is working towards that. Okay, so, hey, it is what it is. Jalen Miro, he said after uh, after um, Kalen DeBoer was hired, man, he said he just – he, he want to trust the process. Just trust the process. And guess what? That is what he is doing. And like I said, after Coach Kalen DeBoer was hired, Jalen Miro was the, one of the first players to speak publicly about his support for Coach Kalen DeBoer because Jalen Miro knew Kalen DeBoer ain't nothing but a winner. He knew Kalen DeBoer ain't did nothing but win everywhere he done been. And that is what you want. How can't you support that? But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, but y'all can try to lure <laughs> uh, uh, Jalen Miro away. Whether it's April, when the, when the portal open again, he ain't going nowhere. If he decide to stay at Alabama or stay in college another year after this year, his senior year, you can try to lure him away. He ain't going nowhere. He is all in on the crimson. If you ain't wearing crimson and white, you know the rest. Elf. That's all I know. <laughs> so it is what it is. But anyway, uh, talking about uh, Nick Sheridan, he spoke on Jalen Miro, and he was asked, how much confidence do you have in Jalen Miro, and, or how confident are you in Jalen Miro? And Nick Sheridan, offensive coordinator, said he is very confident in Jalen Miro. And that's what I like to hear. He says Jalen, uh, his his presence is, is impactful to the team, not only on the field, but in the locker room because everybody knows and they talk about his leadership skills. He is a great leader on and off the field. 
That's my quarterback. Jalen Miro, that's my quarterback. Yeah, he made me a little upset sometimes during the course of the season last season. But that's okay. Every player ain't going to make every play. That's all I'm saying, even though we would like for them to. But, hey, Jalen Miro was a great quarterback last season for my Alabama Crimson Tide. And, and we wouldn't have been in the position that we would, we was in to win a SEC championship or and go to the playoff if it wasn't for Jalen Miro. That's just the way it is. That's the truth, whether you like it or not. And talking about loyalty and, and, and commitment to the university, to the football team, for all the Alabama fans that say, hey, they don't like quitters. You must love Jalen Miro. Because how, as an Alabama fan, after, after Jalen Miro stayed committed, and embrace Coach Kalen DeBoer. How can you not like Jalen Miro? And if you're an Alabama fan and you just don't, and you can't support this guy, you just don't like him. That's all I can say about that. But anyway, uh, but like I said, Coach Sheridan say, hey, he's very confident in Jalen Miro. His presence is very impactful to the team on and off the field. All right. But, like uh, 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 Coach Sheridan said, there's still a lot to be done in the quarterback room. Everybody still got to improve. Now, our quarterback room, I think it's deep. Jalen Miro, Ty Simpson, Dylan Lonergan, and uh, and um, the guy from Washington that, that, that came in. Uh, so, hey, we deep. We deep. That guy stands, I believe, about 6'5". Yeah, but anyway, uh, and he's experienced in the in the Kalen DeBoer system, so he brings that to the table. But anyway, uh, a lot to be done in the in the, in the quarterback room as far as everybody improving. And uh, Jalen Miro, he piggybacked off of that. He said that he's nowhere near a finished product. All right, he said he just wanna fine tune his skills and improve as much as possible. And uh, I have no doubt going where well, it's already stated, well, we already know that Jalen Miro, as far as the spring, is the number one quarterback. And I don't expect nothing less going into the fall. That's just me. Just going off his experience. And uh, I know Coach Kalen DeBoer Nick Sheridan uh, can, can uh, take advantage of Jalen Miro's skill set and the, I know they can uh improve on his throwing ability the deep ball is is good on that the short to intermediate passes they gonna improve we already seen a video uh of Jalen Miro throwing the ball he done changed up some of his mechanics his throwing motion so he's putting in that work but anyway uh Jalen Miro he's working with uh, uh Mitch Dalen that's his name, Mitch Dalen. He's a senior. He's the senior offensive analyst, and he works with quarterbacks. All right. So Jalen Miro is putting in that work this spring, and I'm sure he's going to continue over the summer on into the fall. So, hey, it is what it is. Jalen Miro says he wants to constantly grow. You know, every football player wants to constantly grow and get better. But he wants to constantly grow, and he's trying to be the best passer he can be, and he's trying to be the best passer in the country. That's a lot of confidence in yourself. But guess what? I think he can do it. I think Jalen Miro can be the best quarterback in the country in 2024. And, and the best dual threat quarterback. I know a lot of people are going to differ or a lot of people are going to say I'm just a homer. I'm just saying this because I'm an Alabama fan. Well, I'm also a Jalen Miro fan, and I believe in him. Would I be a Jalen Miro fan if he wasn't playing for the University of Alabama? Uh, probably not. Just like I wasn't a Jaden Daniels fan, but he was the best quarterback in the country last season. I wasn't a fan of him, but I, I knew what I was looking at. So, hey, it is what it is, but I'm going to support Jalen Miro. But anyway... Uh, last season, you know, Jalen Miro, uh, he only completed 65, about 66, 66% of his passes for a little over 2,800 yards, 23 touchdowns, and six interceptions. I think he's going to do 
a whole lot better than that this season. I'm going to say he can complete at least 75% of his passes. He's going to throw for about, I'm going to say, I'm going to get Jalen Miro 4,500 yards passing uh, uh, <laughs> uh, in, in 2024 20, with about 35, 40 touchdowns. That's passing. This is going to be a daggone Joe Burrow transformation. Remember Joe Burrow in 2018? He wasn't that good for LSU, but 2019, oh, my goodness. Oh, I mean, that was one of the best seasons as far as a quarterback probably in, in college history. That, I mean, the boy was uh, outstanding after a mediocre season, an uh, average season just a year before. That's what's going to happen to, happen to Jalen Miro under Coach Kalen DeBoer. Just like Joe Burrow from 2018 to 2019, he had a coaching change. Yeah, as far as his quarterback's coach uh, or offensive coordinator, whatever it was, Joe Brady, offensive coordinator, Joe Brady. And you've seen the transformation in, in uh, Jalen Miro, not Jalen Miro, but Joe Brady. Of course, he had two dynamic receivers, too. And guess what? Alabama going to have some dynamic receivers also. But anyway, confidence, confidence, confidence in Jalen Miro. Just like these coaches are confident in him, and he's confident in himself. But anyway, like you say, he want to be the best quarterback he can be, the best passer in the country, the best quarterback in the country. And remember, Jalen Miro, he finished sixth in the Heisman Trophy voting uh, uh, for twenty for the last season. I'll just say that. Yeah, he finished sixth in the Heisman Trophy voting. I mean, I believe five guys went to went to uh, New York for the Heisman ceremony. So he just missed out. But anyway, uh, Jalen Miro, he said the first step, the first step in becoming the best quarterback in the country or the best passer in the country is learning the new scheme. So, yes, everybody got to learn the new scheme. And, uh, you know, everybody's saying that the transition transition is not that hard from Nick Saban uh, to, to Kalen DeBoer for us the scheme. Okay, so that is a good thing. Uh, in uh, Miro, he said a lot is asked of the quarterbacks through the first week of spring practice. All right, he explained leading the offense and being confident in pre- and post-snap reads is very, very important. He said there's a lot of things we can do to be explosive as an offense and to and be the best offense in the country. Not only Jalen Miro want to be the best quarterback in the country, but he want to lead the best offense in the country. He says, I'm excited. There's a lot of things this offense can offer. And, and all we want to do right now is master the scheme. Be ready. You master that scheme right now, and then you fine-tune it over the summer, and you uh, go into the fall hitting on all cylinders. Confidence, baby. I'm confident in this entire team, offensively and defensively. We'll be ready this fall. No doubt about it, man. Um, and Jalen Miro, what works to his advantage, what works to the offense's advantage, is Coach Kalen DeBoer used to be an offensive coordinator, all right, and one of the best at it. Used to be an offensive coordinator, so, hey, Nick Saban, he was a defensive coach, so defense was his specialty. And guess what? Offense is Coach Kalen DeBoer's special, specialty, and you've seen him put that to work at the University of Washington in his two years. I don't know a coach in all the college football that took over a 4-8 and eight team in the next season, you win 10 damn games. Nick Saban didn't do that. Shit, Kirby Smart took over a damn 10-win uh, 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 team year after year after year, and he couldn't win 10 games in his first season. So that just a testament of what kind of coach uh, uh, Coach Kalen DeBoer is. Just putting it out there. Two of the greatest coaches in college football over the past, well, Nick Saban since 2009, and, and daggone at Alabama, I'm just saying at Alabama, he was a great coach before then. He won a national championship at LSU. But from, from 2009 until he retired, he was the greatest coach in all the college football. Kirby Smart, we're going to say from 2017, 
up until 2023, one of the best coaches in all of college football. And guess what? He couldn't win 10 games his first year. Nick Saban couldn't win 10 games his first year at Alabama or at LSU, whatever. But Coach Kalen DeBoer did that at Washington. And he hasn't, he haven't ever coached in Power Five before Washington. Well, I ain't going to say Power Five, but he haven't ever coached uh, a team on a high level. And I'm not counting Indiana. Plus, Indiana, he wasn't a head coach. So we're going to say Power Five. First time coach in Power Five program, he won 10 games in his first season. So, hey, test him to what kind of coach Coach Kalen DeBoer is. But anyway, Coach Kalen DeBoer, offensive-minded coach, that's going to work to Jalen Milrow's advantage. And Coach Kalen DeBoer, as an offensive-minded coach, he's going to know how to get the best out of Jalen Miro and to use his best attributes as a quarterback. So, Jalen Miro is going to be a way better quarterback than what we've seen in the past. But anyway, it is what it is, man. So I'm just confident in Jalen Miro going into this spring, and I'm sure I'll continue to be confident in him going into uh, fall fall uh, camp. Now, spring game, can't take too much from spring games, all right? Because last season, spring game, we looked like garbage. But guess what? And everybody was talking then, but we wind up winning the SEC championship going into the playoff. We wind up beating every SEC team that we played last season. Win the SEC championship going into the playoff after a mediocre spring game that had everybody talking that Alabama would be 8-4, and 7-5. and five. But I tried to tell them. But they didn't want to listen to old KB. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. And, uh, I'll be talking to y'all real soon. I'm going to have to start back doing my lives on uh, uh, Sundays and Wednesdays. About to start that back up so uh, we can do some interaction leading up to this spring game. And I'm going to have to keep my lives going all the way up until the start of the season. I done, I done had long enough a break putting my room back together, as you can see. <laughs> but anyway, let me go ahead and get out of here. And uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Roll damn time.